Hello, everyone. I'm Wei Gao from South China Agriculture University, the Landscape Architectural Department. It's my honor to speak here, and I'm very glad to share my topic with you. Today, I'd like to talk about mindfulness landscape. Concerning our practice research on landscape therapy design, to cooperate with information overload and for health promotion in high density cities. Information overload is not a new issue, but a growing public health issue in contemporary urban life. Information overload refers to the phenomenon that information exceed an individual's ab ability to receive and process it, leading to stress and boredom, anxiety and depression, and a series of negative emotions that affect work, life, and relationships. The negative impact of information overload on public, public health and the well-being is become increasing evident with high density and the high intensity urbanization. From these pictures showing that in a high density urban environment creates a crowd feeling and stimulates an increasing in information overload. For instance, this picture is showing the, the night of the national festival nearby our research site. Therefore, combining the negative effects of information overload has gradually become one of the important issues in the study of public health in high density cities, especially in the post epidemic era. So let's go uh, going to our studies. As we know, parks and uh, green spaces are already proven to promote public health, but limited land use in high density historical urban area, such as our research site is conserving uh, such as in our research site makes it difficult to increase green space. Our research hypothesis is conserving the historic urban landscape as the material carrier of urban culture and the collective memory in the context of high density cities which is extremely important for people's social and uh, psychological health and the quality of life enhancement. This mapping is showing the location and the historical information of our site. Our site is located in the historical district of Beijing Road, Guangzhou, which is both the historic center of Guangzhou with the wealth of highly valuable historical information and the traditional old neighborhood, a typical center for studies the problem of information overload in a high density cities. Let's say the mapping. And the in, from the mapping, you can find the yellow line showing the ancient city was uh, 2,200 years ago. And the green line is a city wall nearby 1,100 years ago. The red one is uh, 800 years ago city wall. And the purple one is uh, three or 200 years ago which is already in Qing Dynasty. And you can find the blue line shows the Pearl River, which is the 
main water system of Guangzhou city is retreating from different decades. And there are very famous mountain systems in this area. This part is the main mountain system, Baiyun Mountain in Guangzhou city and the Yuexiu Mountain. These two mountains already appear right now, but these two ancient mountains, Yu, Yushan Mountain and the Panshan Mountain, already gone nowadays. And the outside is located just nearby the ancient Yu Mountain. And also we have a West Lake, the ancient West Lake in Guangzhou, just as the west part of our site. Okay, after understand the site, now with the process of urbanization, we can find that in the past 2,200 years, the Shiloh's mountains, just like the ancient Yu mountain and the ancient Panshan mountains in the city are gradually disappearing. And the river line of the Pearl River, which is the main river system of the city, is retreating. Although these landscapes are no longer visible, they still retain a wealth of historical information in the site. Let's talk about our design practice. With the theme of the mindful garden, our practice is to represent the lost and the invisible historical environment information. To apply the concept of com complying with the time and the harmony of man and nature from traditional Chinese health care wisdom as design approaches to deal with information overload in high density historical urban areas. This is the design plan of our practice. From this plan, we can find that the site is about 2,000 square meters. It's not very large. And located at the north of the very famous for its thousand years old temple in Guangzhou, the Great Buddha Temple, just located at the southern part of our site and which at the junction of ancient Yushan Mountain is at the northern part of our site, and ancient West Lake just at the west part of our site. All of the elements was in the historical district of Beijing Road. And this is the overhead wheel of our design after build. And from this overview, we can find that the design layout follows the classical layout of Chinese landscape planting, narrating from the west to the east in the order of the four seasons. And the design uses the herbal plant for landscape therapy design, following Chinese traditional healthcare wisdom for public health promotion. The Chinese herbal plant is correspond to dif different vessels in different seasons. Following the season is the core concept of Chinese traditional healthcare wisdom. Okay, now let's go inside the landscape. The first thing of the landscapes is the spring tracking. The landscape, the landscape expresses the scene of hiking in the mountain as described in traditional Chinese poetry and the painting, which can be soothing to the mind. Choose the Chinese herbal plant that correspond to the liver which in Chinese medicine corresponds to spring. The, ne the next scene of the landscape is summer shade. 
This landscape is derived from Huang Di Nei Jing, the very famous ancient Chinese medical text on health and wellness, which describes the appropriate environment for regulating of breathing and meditation in summer. Choose Chinese herbal plants that works on the heart, which corresponds to summer. The third one is autumn breeze. The landscape is taken from the traditional Chinese poetry depicting breathing along the riverbank in autumn. Use Chinese herbal plants that correspond to the lawn, which link to the autumn. Okay, the fourth thing in the landscape is the winter stay. The landscape portrays that ancient people enjoying the scenery and uh, communicating about Zen studies in winter, as described in ancient Chinese health texts, Zhun Shen Ba Jian. The Chinese herbal plants here associate with the kidney, which corresponds to winter in Chinese medicine. The other approach is designed according to ancient planting and the historical information. The design recreates the same scenes of ancient Yushan Mountain and ancient West Lake 1,100 years ago by represents historical environment information in contemporary landscape design approach, connecting the public with the site's past history. Based on the iconographic information of ancient maps and paintings, design is using the form of stone cavings to show the landscape patterns of the site a thousand years ago. We can see the Baiyun Mountains, the Yuexiu Mountains, and the ancient Yushan Mountain, the ancient West Lake, and the very beginning of the Great Buddha Temple, which was surround the site. And of course, the metaphor of the Buddhism. All the decorative system in the garden, such as the tires and the paving follows the artifacts excavated locally a thousand years ago from the museum. And the facade of old building nearby was renewed using a windmill curtain wall. It means when we have a wind, it can move just like a closes recreating a landscape that was no longer visible on the site a thousand years ago, following the traditional painting and in the form of new city landmark. And based on the archeological evidence, we just select the same stone as the garden material from the historical garden ruins nearby. And the plant design use pie trees to mimic the style in traditional painting that contemporaneous with the site's history, which is at the beginning of Song Dynasty. And there is a smart guide system is set up in the garden. Visitors can learn about the historical environment information of the site and the landscape therapy design ideas with the smartphone and the QR words, then start to interact with the garden.
as you can see from the pictures, through the digital landscape and the identification system, guide people to study the herbal plants and the historical information in the garden, and also can guide people to carry out mindful activities such as pranayama to preserve their physical and mental state, and also realize mindful perception. This picture shows the everyday public activities in the mindful garden. This garden is also the class rule for environmental education for promoting public health. The design arms is a way to help modern pop public return to the traditional harmonious relationship between man and the landscape to achieve superior and the mental peace in high density historical urban area. And the combating the negative effects of information overload. As we know, Chinese traditional garden is a microcosm of the symbiosis between man and nature. Being mindful means being aware of the body, mind, and the surroundings in the present moment. The mindful garden is to help people perceive a harmonized relationship between man and nature. This design is a practical application of the mindfulness landscape approach to the conservation of historical urban landscapes and urban renewal. And this is the end of my talk. It has been my pleasure to present Mindfulness Landscape here for you, and thank you very much for your kind attention.